Miss Scaratelli? <laughs> I haven't gone by that name in years. May I ask your new name then? That depends. Are you the Morgan Nathalia I spoke over the phone with? If I say yes, will you walk out on me? <laughs> I already gave the cops a statement. Why would I have to give one to a child also? The cops assume your ex-husband was killed by an average car robber. I think differently. Huh. A freelance detective. Miss, if your ex-husband truly was murdered by an expert, that would put you and your daughter at a very high risk. Wait, how do you know about my daughter? And how did you get my number in the first place? Uh, the internet? Ugh, fine. Will this take long? I'm on a very busy schedule. It will only take a bit. Now please state your name for the record. <sighs> Tara McLean. How long have you and Mr. Garatelli been divorced? About five years. What did Mr. Garatelli do for a living? Nothing important. He worked at a bank. I'm not sure exactly what he did there, though. Which bank, may I ask? The Elite Coin Bank on 4th Avenue. Well, that's a very prestigious bank. <sighs> Tell me something I don't know. May I ask about your daughter? Her name is Penny. She's 10 years old. Did Mr. Garatelli ever have contact with her? Barely. They saw each other for a few weeks in summer, and he spent Christmas Eves and Easter with her. But other than that, I was the sole caregiver. Why did you and Mr. Garatelli get a divorce? We both loved other people. We grew apart. Care to elaborate? I was in love with another man. Mark. He was in love with another woman. Tina. Is there anything else you know about Tina? Her name was Tina Marison. I don't know much about their relationship, except that they were dating up until his death. But Tina did visit me this morning to offer her condolences. One last question. Where were you on April 18th at 9.15 p.m.? I take it that's the time when he died. Unfortunately, yes. I was at home. Penny was asleep, so I was doing some late night work. Well, thanks for answering my questions. I really appreciate it. No problem. If you have any more questions, well, you have my number. Oh no, this cannot be happening. What are you doing here? Oh no, please don't tell me you live here. Sorry bro, I wish she lived somewhere else also. So she's your twin? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex, what are you doing here? For your information, your brother happens to be the only other person in this godforsaken town that has at least decent video game knowledge. You know, it's probably a good thing that not many people are into that mindlessness. Listen, Morgan, you can stay or leave, but we were here first, so we're staying. Fine, I'll just be over here, solving a murder. Ugh, honestly, I'm not surprised. Ugh, boys. What you doing? None your business. Is this like one of those crime charts that they make out of yarn and corkboard on TV shows? Yeah, it helps me visualize the clues. Except I don't have a corkboard or yarn, so... Oof. Is that where he worked? Yeah, Elite Coin Bank. Yeah, I saw them on the news last night. Did you hear they got robbed? Really? That's strange. Who's that? Tina Marison. 
his girlfriend. I think I saw her name on a flyer somewhere. It might have been down on the lamppost on 21st. Wow, you're attentive. Yeah, and you're annoying, so. Yeah, you're that too. So this poster, where exactly is it? Come on, I'll show you. It's just a few blocks from here. There's the poster. She's a singer. Interesting. Too bad we can't see her. She's playing at 21 and Up Club this Friday. We're not 21 and Up. True, but we can just contact the club, get a hold of the manager, and get her number or email from there. Uh, why would we need her number? For interrogations, duh. Wait, you're actually gonna interrogate her? Of course, she has information. Uh you're a kid. whoop de doo so are you. Still, you don't see me trying to solve a murder that the cops are already taking care of. Listen, rookie. Rookie? I'm solving this case whether you like it or not. So I guess the question is, are you gonna interrogate her with me or not? Uh, you're crazy. <laughs> That's not an answer now, is it? <sighs> Fine, I'll join you. Dang it, I work better alone. Then why did you offer? To be nice. Not that you would know anything about that. Oh my god, can you blame me? Mm, not really. We interrogate at noon tomorrow. Diner's Coffee House. <sighs> Fine. You're still crazy. Yeah, I get that a lot.